Hi, this is Thomas. In this short video tutorial I will talk about post-quantum signing and show you how you can sign data using sign server with a NIST candidate post-quantum cryptography algorithm, Dilithium. First a small warning, using NIST candidate algorithms is for non-production production use only and this is because when NIST publishes the final standards in 2024 supposedly, uh, these will be changed. So whatever you do now uh, will be not compatible with the final standards. Yet it is fine for uh, testing, proof of concept and seeing what you can do with these new algorithms, but you will have to redo it in for production use later on. So some prerequisites for this tutorial is that you have an EGBCA container started with post-quantum PKI created, which is uh, shown in the previous tutorial. And you have sign server started with access to the sign server admin UI using the client certificate issued by the previous EDBCA container. And there is of course a tutorial for that as well, which is in the link. What we will briefly show in this tutorial is how to create a signer in sign server uh, using Dilithium signature keys. You will create a CSR which will be transported to the uh, certificate authority and be issued a signing certificate. You will import this signing certificate into sign server and then it's all ready to sign data and I will also show how to verify the signature that you have created. Okay, let's get started. So we start first with the sign server. So here I will create what is called a crypto worker or a crypto token uh, to hold the, the key where we will generate the key. So I will add a uh, PKCS, a key store crypto token or a key store crypto worker. So I select the template, click next, and uh, the name is good. I will use that. We will change here to use the internal uh, key store type and not provide a uh, path. This will make it uh, be stored in the database. It is uh, convenient. So with that, I can activate this crypto token, which will mean I will give it a pin code, which will be uh, used to protect it in the database. Okay, that's it. Now we are ready to uh, generate keys. So I select the crypto token. I uh, click on the crypto token and generate key. So here I will give this called a CMS signer because uh, I will sign uh, do a CMS signature, cryptographic message syntax later on. So I will choose, di choose Dilithium as the key algorithm and Dilithium 2 as the key specification. So it's also available with Dilithium 3 and 5. But for the signing, we'll choose Dilithium 2. So I'll generate this key. So that's done. Now I will uh, go back to workers and create a signing worker. So I will use the CMS signer. And in here, the crypto token pre selected is fine. Uh, the default key, we will select the key we just uh, created called CMS signer. Uh, for this worker, we will actually use detached uh, CMS or PKC7 signatures. So we will have the signature separate from the message itself. And finally, I will set the signature algorithm to dilithium. So that should be, uh, that's it. I apply. And then I can go into the sign it, uh, to the uh, signing worker and I can generate the CSR, a certificate signing request to be sent to the CA. So I will use the CMS signer key, the signature algorithm uh, Dilithium and see a common name CMS signer, I will give it. I will generate the CSR. Okay, it's available for download. So I'll download this to my demo and directory so I have it later on for upload to the CA. So now it's uh, set up to be ready to issue a signing certificate. 
Then I will switch, switch to my EDBCA, which is exactly the setup that was performed in the, uh, the previous tutorial. Now, in order to issue a signing certificate, I will start by creating a certificate profile. CMS Signer, I will call it. I will edit this to make it a client post quantum only signing uh, profile. So the profile or with this profile you will only be able to issue uh, signing certificates using the Dilithium 2 algorithms. And maximum validity, one year. For key usage, it will only be used for digital signatures and we will use no extended key usage. So this, um, this should do it. I will also create an end entry profile to be able to register or, or issue a certificate for my signer. I'll call this CMS signer as well. I will edit this profile. And we don't need an email. A common name is okay to use. Of course, the certificate profile will be the one we just selected and it will be only one available. To issue these uh, post-quantum signing certificates, I will issue them from the post-quantum sub-CA only. And we will only allow user-generated keys for signing and not server-generated keys. Okay, that should also do it. So, with that, we're uh, ready to issue the uh, signing certificate. I will do that in the RA web, where I will go to make a new request, which will make it uh, easy and automatic. Certificate type, the newly created CMS signer. Key pair generation provided by user. Here I upload the CSR, the demo signer, uh, CMS signer, sorry, uh, uh, CSR. This was already read from the CSR, so I will use the same uh, as username in my CA. Okay, that's it. And I will download the full uh, chain to uh, the disk. Okay, I will save this to my same demo uh, directory. So that's it. That's now ready to be imported into uh, Sign Server. I will do one additional thing here in the RA web, and that is to download the uh, the uh, CA certificate for my post quantum uh, CA hierarchy, and I will do that in order to be able to verify the signed message later on. So I will download this in their format. So I have uh, created a specific trust directory where I will put the CA certificates. First the root CA certificate and then the sub CA certificate. So now we just store them on disk for later use when we uh, want to verify a message. Okay, that's it from the CA side. Now we can go back to uh, sign server. So for our CMS signer worker that we created, we can now install certificates. So here I will simply upload the uh, uh, certificate chain that I created from EGBCA and downloaded. So I will add this and here we see that it added the whole uh, chain, the CMS signer, the signer certificate, the sub CA certificate and the root CA certificate. So I will click install. So that's uh, actually everything that's needed. So now we're ready to sign. For this uh, tutorial, I will use a, a simple method. I will use the Science Server Client Web because it demos nicely. So here I will say the CMS Signer. That's the name of my worker, and I will upload upload a file. It can be any file, so I don't have too many files here on my disk. So I will actually select my uh, PEM certificate chain. Doesn't matter what type of file it is. I will sign this. So I select this file and I press submit. So now we have a signature. Uh, if you remember, I set the signer to create a detached signature, which means I will only download the signature. So I will store this as well in my demo directory. So now we have created a signer, issued a certificate, everything using the Dalithium post quantum cryptography algorithm. Uh, and now we can uh, verify it. So we do have a small tool for that available on GitHub which is called a post-quantum verifier for now because it's uh, 
quite few tools out there which are uh, available which can verify these signatures. So I uh, run this. Uh, it's also, of course, uh, written out in the tutorial text which you can look at. Java jar, our uh, verifier jar, CMS verification, the uh, signature I just downloaded, the actual message I uploaded, and the trust director, which is where my CA certificates are stored. So I'll run this and it says that it loads trust anchors, it verifies the signer certificate, it finds an algorithm, which was the lithium 2, and it verified the, me the message and called it was a valid trusted signature using the Dalithium 2 uh, signature algor algorithm. So that's uh, all for this uh, tutorial. Happy hacking!